welcome back to Chronicles of the Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate. Because the, you know, the my, I guess I selected the wrong option in the menu. I didn't even, I don't even think I actually selected an option. I was just trying to um, exit out so I could check out my uh, my status. So apparently those things are a lot more dangerous than I thought they were. <sighs> Add her back to the initiative rotation. Send my heart a racing. And so, Kalius, we have unfinished business with you. <laughs> For me, just drunkenly. You know, I used to have such rough um, respect for you. 
that is, when you're at war with the world. My choice has led me here, and for that I am thankful, actually. You shall pay dearly for everything you have done, Lord Calius. Everything! You have no hope or chance against me. I have been infused with the power of the Abyss. You shall not stand in mine or my master's way ever again. Listen carefully, Lord Calius. Do you hear that? It's the sound of your death rapidly approaching. <laughs> Embrace your end. I'd rather not, thank you. That's what Ziri is for.
in this time. Oh, wonderful.
powerful. Though this war has only just begun. Zayon, the atrocity of the gods. <laughs> yes, I'm the atrocity himself. You must be the insects that Anto had told me about. It does not matter, though. You are too late. <laughs> your world will be consumed by the abyss. And I will reign as your god. You're such a pompous ass. Do you really think that everyone will just lie down and let you destroy everything we hold near and dear to our hearts? I'm about to experience what it's like when you piss me up. No conception. No idea. The hell life means to people like us. You're going to learn those, Aeon. You're going to learn the hard way. You have no power over us, Zeon. You hold no sway. While we are mortal, it is exactly because of our mortality that we have the power to do what we must do. <laughs> you actually believe you can contend with my will, that you can match my power. Only one of you has a touched one, I sense. And your powers. Oh, vastly inferior to my own. Do you not understand by now? I am the essence of the abyss. It's ridiculous to think that you even stand a chance. I'm going to destroy your world, and so that it may be reborn. So much you to me, and to the abyss. Stop resisting. It's pointless even to try. Stop right there, Zeon. You took everything from me. My family, my life, even my own will for a time. You will not take those away from anyone else. On my very soul, I swear this. Sorry, just gotta check to make sure it's still recording. <laughs> I don't think you get it, Zeon. They're not afraid of you. Hell, my damned horse is more intimidating than you are. <laughs> what a monumental blowhard. On my honor as an ivory knight of the kingdom of Golden Horn, there is no way I am going to let you reign over anything. Idiotic. Your words mean nothing to me. It is also meaningless when the abyss has consumed your world. Then, and only then, this existence finally comes to it. Your world longs for this. Your struggle is futile. <laughs> I actually pity you, Zeon. You do not understand life at all. We yearn to better ourselves, to be more than what we are. All you strive for is an existence of perpetual stagnation. And what a fool you are. <laughs> You will never understand any of this, and that is why you will lose Zeon. Our mortality gives us a kind of strength, and you will never understand. You have haunted our world for long enough, Zeon. No more shall we live in the shadow of your evil. Zeon, it is because of you that my people have died at the hands of your servants. You threaten and try to kill my family and my comrades. It is because of you that my sister 
that she was stolen from this life. No, no, you will not take anything from us any longer. For all that exists within this world, Zeon, you will be destroyed. <laughs> Never tremble, people creatures, and witness the true form and power of the abyss. See you later with more Chronicles of the Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate.